what about being a person of color in this role? You know, how how are you able to perhaps influence who's around you in the future? Yeah, that's a great question. I think the probably the biggest way I, I hope I'm contributing with how I try to contribute is, you know, at least speaking, I can't speak for all folks of color, right? Uh, but what I can speak for, for me and my experience is that, you know, within my own family, no one from my household has ever been in a position like this before. So when I stepped into this role, I had no idea truly what to expect. I had what I've learned in my experiences, but I had to learn how things play out in the room on the go. There's what's on the job description, and then there's what, how it actually works in the culture of the organization that you work in. And my hope is, is that I've been able to have conversations with folks like me or like-minded like me uh, in a way that resonates with them because I'm able to speak in a way that they understand, that they know, that they're comfortable with in the same way that someone not from their background just could not have that connection. We don't have the same shared experience. So there's like a special level of trust there that I can open the door to and say, hey, this is how I, this is what I went through. This is what I experienced. This is what I did. And we're able to have conversations that maybe others aren't as comfortable having. So I'm hoping that I'm able to bring some knowledge so that when they get into the role, they got even more than I had when I started so they can have even more impact. And as we continue to collectively have impact, you know, we will naturally be a part of the conversation. Folks will see that those uh, diversity and inclusion efforts are absolutely worth it in their in weight of gold or in value, however you want to put it, uh, because of the value that we're bringing collectively to higher ed. 